Hmm. But coming up next. Really? Oh, yeah. Fitness really? model. David got, Kimberly, stop. I do got no shirt, focus. man. He's not your everyday gym rat. So <laughs> <here's> <laughs> <the story next. laughs> you want to say back to you, Erica? I fall in love every day, too, Shally, yeah. on this show. <laughs> Oh, no, I'm coming inside. No, you're not, Yes, woman. I am. You stay right, out John? with the dog. I'm coming inside. You stay I'm with the dog. Inside. Get out of my way. They sent me Producer. outside and kept him inside. Producer Ryan told me not to linger on this segment. Whatever, Sorry, Ryan. Woman, you stay out. You. Hello. Okay, go ahead, Reed. Oh, today's top stories are coming up next. Then later on, we are catching up with fitness model David Kimmerly. Oh, should we? Are we scratching? What are we yes. doing here? <laughs> I'm the look at not the type. We are also testing out one of Hollywood's best kept secrets. Up in here, where you for, apparently you forgot your shirt. I, I did. Um, would you like me to? I have a coat if you would like to cover it. It, it is kind of cold outside today. Okay, this I find hard to believe. You say that you used to be overweight. Yes. When you say overweight, like how many pounds of weight are you talking about? Uh, I was about, about 240 pounds, 26% body fat. So when I dropped down, basically I had to lose about 50 pounds. Now we have a picture. Can we see? Th oh, that's no. you over there when you were what? How many pounds? I was 236 or 7 pounds right Good there. Grief. That uh, my back started about up here and didn't <laughs> end till uh, bottom of my leg. And I literally was missing a butt through that whole transition there. It was just non-existent. Okay, so, so obviously to transition from that guy to this guy, was there one moment where something just kind of snapped and you said, you know what, enough of that, I need to do something, and then the transition, how did that come about? Um, well, it really wasn't a moment, I guess, it mm -hmm. was a... Uh, just a bunch of things all happened uh, My time. glass was so full of my crappy life that yeah. finally I just yeah. snapped and I decided to empty it and I did it at the gym. Okay, so we have a other other picture that we're going to show. Apparently, okay. apparently you've done some modeling, these. some modeling work, uh, uh -huh. David. I'm not sure. There you go. Okay, that was my first big cover. Love those guys. What, what, was, what was that? Second name? big one. That was Muscle and Fitness. Muscle and Fitness. Mm -hmm. All right, and then so you've done a bunch of other ones uh -huh. and competition photos. Yep. Kind of cool. Does it? Did you ever think that this one's going to happen? I'm a punk from Utah. <laughs> I used to be a fat kid. I, I I use a hammer for for you know my job for 10 years so yeah. this was never intended that was never presumptuous enough to think i could ever do anything like now you're this. like big, mr big shot superstar no not at all no? I, I i've been very fortunate to be in some publications and i try real yeah. hard but um i don't good for you good yeah. for you you're, you're just grounded. lucky you're just lucky i'm wearing a suit man i want to embarrass you david you know stop stop okay so we have uh, some fitness tips that you're going to share with us yes yeah. yes and what you have on here we're talking the importance of, of a heart monitor yes um is this during exercise or uh, it basically falls under the umbrella of educating your bites and steps sure. um we all want to go train we all want to, to to work hard and we want the anxiety that our that our efforts are, are not in vain you know so yeah. essentially you asked me kind of how i got started um, I didn't know whether I was trying. My brain said I was trying. You know, mm -hmm. how, how do you know that you're doing a good job? Right. How do you know that you did the curl right? Yep. And essentially right now, like my heart rate right now is showing 63. If I get down and do a bunch of push-ups, it'll say 140. I'll know if I tried if it says 140. Right oh, now, wow. if okay. I finish my push-ups, it says 100. I didn't try. So you're pretty chilled out right now? I'm, I'm pr yeah. Should we do <laughs> Do you want to do push-ups now? We have a, a couple of our crack staff. Yes. Did you notice our crack staff I, I over did. here? We have a Luis and we have a <laughs> and we have Engineer Ross. Uh -huh. uh, now they're going to do push-ups. They're they're going right? to do what, what we call the push-up war. This is a, okay. an excuse negator. All right. If you find yourself in a hotel room, you find yourself with your buddies, you find yes. yourself with too many beers in you, and you want to go and punch <laughs> something, try this. This this is an awesome way to get rid of a bunch of energy. Awesome. Should, should you want to you want to try? It? Are you going to partake? I, I, I'm going to partake, and what that'll do is it'll kind of show the heart rate jumping the up heart and down. Rate, okay. And and that's big for me because you want to train in your zones. Anybody gets anything from this now, little minute, take from, educate your efforts. Okay. Before we do that, can we quickly go through a little bit of the nutrition thing here? You hold the microphone <laughs> and you talk into that oh, thing and show me the it. nutrition because I got my nutrition here for my lunch. All right. After you show that, because okay, um, everybody's going to give me trash. Don't put anything in plastic bags. But I did this on purpose <laughs> to. To basically show there is no excuse. Last night right. myself, you know, I've got BPA free plastic, but I didn't have time to use it right. and wash it. So I threw it on a plastic bag. That's okay. four ounces of uh, salmon and green Here beans. We have salmon. Okay, I, zoom in on this. That is one <laughs> ounce of yam. Until you have measured one right. ounce of yam, one it's, ounce quite, of it's yam. quite depressing. It really is. That's that is like a spoonful. That's asparagus. Asparagus. All and right, we want to get to the chicken. We want to get to the push up <laughs> contest. <laughs> this is very embarrassing. I have a sausage, oh, a ham, good. breakfast bowl. I can smell that box. I have a Pop-Tart. 
<laughs> love it. <laughs> I have a muffin. Oh, <laughs> you do not know what you're doing to me, man. <laughs> no, I'm dying. <laughs> okay, now do you need to get down there for this push-up? I do. All right, I will take the mic. Right, so remember, sweet. I guess your mic's not working, but let's go ahead and do this push-up competition, okay. and then we'll see what your heart rate does and see if our guys can keep up with you. Good. All right, David Kimberly with the heart uh, with the push-up competition. The, the here we go, guys. War. Let right, me have a pop tart as I enjoy my pop tart over here. Ready? Okay. First right, off, I'm gonna do it with these guys. But I need you to drop down and give me 15 push-ups. The oh second God. you're done, you go. Oh my goodness. As fast you can go. Two, three, four. You better get down there. Five, oh, six, I'm already, I'm already seven, done. eight, nine, ten. Now you go. One, two, three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, you gotta go again. Oh. Oh, it's time to go. Uh oh. Thank you. Today's top stories are next.